Hi everybody, Adam from LS2 Helmets. Today I want to show you how easy it is to install the pin lock insert on your Explorer model helmet. Today I've got the carbon fiber version here in front of me. The same goes, uh, same process goes for our fiberglass version as well. Now on this particular helmet, first thing we're going to do is remove that shield. So just need a three millimeter uh, Allen key and we're going to take these bolts out right here. Just take those out. And on the fiberglass version, you're going to remove the covers and uh, remove those with a, a Phillips head screwdriver. So once I've got that removed there, I just pop out that screw so I don't lose it. Set that off to the side. And now I do the same thing on the other side. And as that shield falls out, Take out that screw. All right, now from here, I can set that helmet off to the side. And what I like to do, I like to grab a nice soft cloth, just something I can rest that shield on as I change the, uh, install the pin lock insert. So the uh, Explorer models all come with a pin lock insert in the box. Really nice added feature here. Um, these things work wonders if you've never used one. I would start. They do an incredible job in the cold weather, the damp weather from keeping that shield from fogging up. So basically what these do, these create an air barrier between the insert and the uh, shield here. And that allows that shield to not condensate as you're breathing in that helmet. So the shields do come with a plastic cover over the uh, pin lock insert here to keep it nice and safe. On the inside of that shield, there's a silicone bead, and that's going to be placed in set to the, um, into that shield here. So I set that shield down on my cloth, make sure it's nice and safe. And from there, I take that slot on the uh, insert and line it up with the pins here on the inside of that shield. From there, you can see it doesn't quite fit the way it is. So what I do, I literally just open up that shield like so and line up that tab and slot and it pops right in just like that. I give that shield a little bit of squeeze and twist just to make sure there's no gaps or anywhere along that sides. And so once I've done that, I can remove the uh, cover here and expose that insert and now we're ready to ride. So all we have to do after that, reinstall this shield, grab our helmet here, take that shield and we'll take this all the way off. So you can see it just peels right off. Set that off to the side. Now we just line up our large holes on our, onto our base plates here, like so. Line up the hole in the uh, peak, grab our screw, and drop that into place, like so. Take our three millimeter Allen key, simply screw that right back in. There we go. Now do the same thing on the other side. Again, line up that hole with the base plate and line up that hole on the uh, peak there. Drop in our screw. And simply tighten that down. Now, once we've done that, the one thing I like to do before I go off for a ride, just open and close that outer shield a couple times just to make sure everything is properly in place and looks like we had a good install. So now we can click that down and we're ready to go. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any other questions, please contact our CSR department at csr at ls2helmets.us. All right, let's go for our ride.